Is it? Hello! Oh, I see your problem. I see your problem. I see your problem. Look at you. Who's going to do the training today? <laughs> because whoever it is gets the joy of having a microphone. You're welcome. Oh, I'm I see your problem, mate. You. <laughs> How old is he? Two years old. I love him already. <laughs> so what will we do too, Becky? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what we... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can see your problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that what you walk him on, that harness? Yeah. You, okay. You do, I don't. Yeah, okay. well, so we, we, we walk him on the harness, and more recently, um, Robin's been walking him on a collar, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're batshit fucking crazy, mate. So, dog reactivity is an issue? So. Uh, he wants to play. Yeah, I know. Just wants to play. I read your description mm -hmm. and this is exactly what I thought was turning up. You got yourself a frustrated <laughs> freaking Irish Massively player. frustrated. He gets really frustrated when he's uh, like, we can't, we can't walk across, we can't be on this side of the road when a dog's around there because he'll just immediately think he's got the right to just jump over and say hello. Yep. Okay. You know, so it's like, he just has no, so, we, can't, we can't get him to focus on us. <laughs> <laughs> Lead walking, we want to get under control right now yeah. because this yeah. just is not. No, this is this is actually it's not. All he's like, not. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, he is, he's not like this all the time. But I think it's it's this new environment, and he he is. I tell you what, he's always like is is when he meets new people, he does do what he's just yeah. done to you. He wants to just rush up and say hello and greet you face to face. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Everything about you just screams fun. <laughs> you <Yeah>. need... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did we? <laughs> yeah. Right now, all I'm seeing is a dog that needs some brakes put on it a little bit yeah. and uh, some clearer direction. Yeah. Uh, if he's like this and he sees a dog, then it's just he goes into hyperdrive and starts barking, lunging, things like That's that. Exactly he, it. He's not doing it from a place of malice yeah. or anything like that. So, first thing I want to do is actually address his lead walking. Oh, what have we got, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this. Oh, Hector. Hector, come, mate. Oh, Hector, is that it? Is that all you've got in the tank? So this is it. We've got one of those tuggy toys and um, he gets a bit bored of them. All he wants to do is actually pull the fur apart and then he'll get, he gets bored of it. Oh, Hector, there's like, what? It's a who's who of dog toys here, mate. <laughs> oh, That's all right. You're going to have to do what I want you to do anyway, Hector. I'm just trying to be nice at this stage, mate. He might actually just be better off if I just let him just sniff for a little bit. Hector, we're going to play a game of find this, right? There you go. Go and find out. Go and find out. Oh, lost me treat pouch. Just want to slow you down a bit. Go and find out. And that. So... He won't chase the flirt pole per se, so what I'm doing is I'm just getting his brain engaged in something different, yeah. right? Get him use his nose, get him use his eyes, slow him down, get him focused on something, because yeah. right now he's focused on everything other than what you want him to do. A dog like this I want to work with, not against. Mm -hmm. He's a very energetic guy that we can have lots of fun with, right? But why he's at 100 mile an hour, he is going to be reacting to everything. Yeah. yeah? Reacting to people because he wants them to say hello to him or he gets frustrated because he, he doesn't know what to do. When he's on this, we're just an extension of Hector's craziness. And then we have to get into a battle with him. Hector. You can do things slowly. Look at you. <laughs> What side do you walk Hector on? I um, mean, I know he was kind of walking. I walk him on my right. Yeah, on I do. On your too. right. Okay. Just because I'm left handed. That's okay. We'll stick with the right. 
So right now I'm just shaping where I want Hector to be. Yeah, <laughs> just luring him in, come round, we'll go forward a little bit. I just want some attention because where Hector's attention's on everything else. I see. Hector, um, this way. <whistles> where his attention is on everything else. Come on. And then we can just slow you down just a tad, mate. Hector. Give me it. Good boy. Yes. You like this game, don't you? <laughs> Try and take a few steps. Oh, look at you, what a boy. Distracted, that's fine. A few steps, good boy. So I'm just shaping for what I want. I am gonna get him off this harness. Mm -hmm. But I just want him to get familiar with what, what, where I want him to be, a kind of expectation. If he goes off like that, bring him back, come round, go forward. Yeah, like I said, he's so used to smashing all over the place. I just want him to be a little bit aware of when he hits the end of the lead, we're not actually going anywhere. Yeah. So I'll actually move the opposite way to him. Good boy. Keep moving backwards, got his attention, come round. We'll take some steps forward. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't need to wee on the door. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I oh, you're actually a little bit nervy under all of that, are you, mate? The, the, the groomers are the only people that have ever used a slip lead on him. And that's just to take him from the door to the table. Right, Hector. <coughs> we have now just changed. <laughs> so, same rules apply. A little bit of pressure. Oh, you look. And look, he already knows the game, so my life becomes so much easier. See the time yeah. we just took there? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was always coming off the harness, because when push comes to shove, he has the upper hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But the little game we were playing, just shaping, just helps. So now, look, he's becoming aware of the end of the lead. Like so. Good boy. Yeah. So now everything becomes easier. So if I go round like so, yes. Mark it with yes, Hector you can have a treat. Swallow your treat, come round like this, don't worry about that person. Yes! <laughs> Give Hector a treat. We'll go round like this. Yes! Oh, you know what that word means. A little bit of pressure. Yeah, that is his reward word, yes. yes. We use that a lot. Oh, Hect, I like you. Turn around a little bit, a little bit of guidance with that lead, nice and simple. We're going to take a few steps forward, Hector, I'm going to pull up on this lead to slow you down. Yes! I'm going to give him a treat. We're going to take a few more steps forward, I'm going to pull up on that lead. A few more steps forward, I'm going to pull up on that lead. All I'm doing is just teaching Hector to some brakes. He's a fast car, he's an exotic sports car. <laughs> Need some f***ing brakes. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. Check in with me, I'll give you one of these all day long. <laughs> oh, yeah, should we take some steps forward, Hector? Start to pull, I'm going to pull up. So now the I'm minute gonna... he starts pulling, you just apply Yep. So it. what I'm going to do, yeah. you've opted to have him walk on his right and Hector's not going to compete, so it doesn't matter whether he walks on your left yeah. and right. My arm is going to stay nice and relaxed. Everything's going to happen from the wrist. Us guys, we have great wrist action, right? So what we do, arm down here, short but relaxed by our side, put the lead in, my hand. So if I take a few steps forward and he starts to go in front, my wrist flicks up here and it just slows him down. Flicks up, slows him down. Flicks up, slows him down. But my arm stays here. If I turn, I use my body to turn into the dog, like so. So arm, it's just up and relax. All in the wrist, up and relax. Okay. Up and relax. Now, Steve, 
walk towards me please because we all know how he likes to greet people <laughs> he greeted me with enthusiasm he greeted ben with enthusiasm steve boy, keep walking mate keep walking look at my arm nice but relax boom <laughs> yeah just stay there a second hex out look while you're there mate i may as well give you some biscuits look do you want some more biscuits have some more biscuits stand next to me stand in this position life's good you're still poised like a spring no mate but see the difference yeah <laughs> no, he just sat down that for a second he just sat down which i've never seen yeah. him do yeah stay here mate by my side greatness in front trying to lead your own expedition expedition not oh. good i know you want to jump mate <laughs> i know but the reality is this is steve he's a frail old man he's got more metal in him than fucking tin man everything about his description reads frustrated yeah yeah the problem is he it looks like he's had too many encounters with dogs in a playful manner and not enough I think that's exactly yeah. what it is, yeah. Yeah, so if he spends most of his days playing with dogs, meeting dogs, having fun with dogs, that, that seems great in theory. Yeah. But the reality is when we can't let him play with a dog yeah. or group meet that dog, maybe that dog's a service dog, maybe that dog's on a lead for a reason, maybe that dog's not friendly. Maybe he can't be running around because he's had an operation. Mm. But whatever which reason that forces him to not be able to play with a dog because he's played with more dogs than he has ignored it's now an expectation so when he can't say hello to a dog he gets frustrated and starts reacting yep. yeah mm -hmm. the real way when it comes to animal socializing is you teach them to ignore more dogs than they can say hello to mm. so myla my little dog she's played with a handful of dogs since i've had her in six weeks but she's ignored three four times the amount Amazing. of dogs yeah. He's actually quite a nervy guy, and so he, he overcompensates a lot. <laughs> yeah, tries to make himself bigger than what he really oh, is. Okay. So, so, right. so right, we there. want to get out of this habit of wrapping a lead around your hand. Right, okay. <laughs> we, we, we don't need the grip of death. So, just literally having by your side, yeah. arm down, yeah. right there, nice short relax, put the rest of it in your okay. hand. Yeah, and then there you go. Look, see yeah. that? He's aware of the end of the lead. Come on. And walk, we'll take him with you. Let's go. And if you're feeling pulling, just flick with your wrist in the direction, the opposite direction to where he's pulling. Good boy. Good boy. Relax your arm. Good boy. There you go. So it's on off, on off, on off. As quick as you feel tension, you turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. It's if there's tension, you need, the game is, to, it, I t call it turning off the tension game. Nobody likes Good to be tense. Good boy. Yeah. Good so as soon boy. as you feel tension, you just turn it straight off and it's normally in the opposite direction to where the dog's going so if he's pulling out to the right bring that tension in towards you if he's in front you actually pull up not back but right. how's that feel really easy right perfect <laughs> so keep with that mindset right walk around you've got this i'm going to walk straight past you Hector. don't stop this way take him take him take him go, take go, him go, go. and then relax good boy good boy let's go don't slow down when you see okay. a dog you actually speed up the more you slow down, the more you hand him back control to Hector. Good boy. Yeah, because he wants you to slow down. Yeah. That's why yeah, he's yeah. slowing down. So all you do now Good is boy. allow him to fixate on that target so much more. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Hector. Yeah. yeah. But look, see how because you didn't and you kept yeah. moving, moving, yeah, moving, yeah, it yeah. breaks his focus, right? Just stay this side of the trees, it's ankle breaking. This side? Uh, this way, this way. Okay. Exactly. Ankle breaking over there. There's no man's land. <laughs> <Little talk>. uh, <laughs> That's it. Good Bring boy, come Here's on. the lead a little bit. Good boy. How's that feel? All right, I mean, I could feel him wanting to go, but... Yeah, but when you feel that, yeah. it's that communication. So if you just stop for a second, right? So I'm going to come... Wait, like so. So we just want that subtle little... Yeah. He's got slightly too much lead as well. So you want your hand more just down a little bit like that. Yeah. So it's ever so... So if you look at my wrist, it's just... Oh, oh. So yeah. when he does that, just... Oi. Come on. Like you mean it. There you go, that one. See the difference? Yeah. You meant that one. The yeah. first one was like... Really gentle. <laughs> right. So you just stay nice and chilled out. Walk off that way. Come on. Take him with you. Use the lick. There we go. Good boy. 
Good boy. I'm a good dog, I'm a good dog, good I'm a good boy, dog. Good boy, Hector. I don't know why, but that song's in my head every time I look at Hector. <laughs> oh, good what a boy. boy. Just walk off, take him with you, stay nice and chilled out. I'm still here, mate, don't worry. <laughs> it's falling in love with you a little bit. Well, they, they like security. Security is provided through clear direction. Yeah, I think he noticed that with you and he's a bit, yeah. So I try putting the lead all in one hand. That's it. And then relax your right arm. There you go. Relax your right arm a bit more. Jelly arm. That's what, we, what we don't... Hector, you sit. Okay. So you see why he's protesting, right? Yeah. So it's because flat palm. So when we try to get a dog to sit that won't sit and we push down like that, they instantly push back up, yeah? So flat palm, he will fight you, yeah? So you end up trying to use that. What it is is little manipulation. So a little bit of up, a little bit of down. In, down. Good boy. Yeah, if he won't do it on oh, come on, you're a good boy. I know you want to jump, you're so desperate to jump. And remember, the whole goal is for him to mirror you, yeah. not you mirror him. Yeah. So the more frantic he gets and worked up he gets, the calmer you have mm. to get. Mm. Yeah, which is the hardest part, right? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But remember, you're not in competition with anyone, so yeah. you've got nothing to prove to anyone. Yeah. It's not how fast can I get Hector to sit, it's can I make sure if I've asked him to sit that I achieve it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not how long does it get us to get to the park, sorry, how quick we can get there. Yeah. It's we'll get there at it's our pace. It's got to be good quality walking. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Because everything you do, every little decision that you're making, yeah. from what I'm teaching you, mm. is affecting this, the brain. <laughs> yeah. And it's effectively slowing him down. Yeah. Because that barking, lunging, all that, jumping up, whining, yeah. That's because his brain is literally it's electric. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's exactly. Yeah, and no wonder he's so good indoors. It's because he's probably just going outside. He's physically exhausted. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Being that active, he's yeah. physically exhausted. Yeah. Having it that is. much of an active imagination. Yeah. So he probably comes home and his fucking whole system has to re yeah. reboot. Um